Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. In today's, I'm gonna be trying out the new Laura Mercier Glow Translucent Powder. And I'm gonna be comparing it on the other side of my face with the regular translucent powder. I wanna see if it's any different. I actually wanna see what the difference is. So my face is already ready for this step. I went ahead and I applied the Glow Elixir by Becca. And then I applied my primer, which is a Too Faced Hangover RX. And I followed that up with the Makeup Forever foundation this one is the matte velvet skin foundation so i'll be having a video on this one i'm just trying it out for a little while and for today's look i went ahead and i used the laura mercier concealer i applied that on the under eye area and i blended it out with the beauty blender and they do have two options of these i'll leave the other one right here which is just a deeper tone and this one still has a little sticker in there so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off now the bottles are pretty much the same but just the tops this one's more like a gun metal type of color so i'm just gonna blend out my concealer a little bit just so that I don't set it and it's like creasing. So this one is the regular powder side. Okay, so for sure this one I already do like. I've used this one many times. So this one's lightweight. It is a matte finish and it does look really nice on my face. It's working good with the concealer. It also works good with the rest of my face. So there you go. This one is the regular matte loose powder and this one is the glowy one. It does look a little more beige. And I'm going to be using a different brush for this one. This one is by Morphe. It is the M510. And I'm just going to pick it up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and... Oh. This one looks kind of like a highlighter. Like it is really glowy. Now I can see how this would look nice far away, you know, like... Okay, your under eye area is glowy. But at the same time, I'm not sure how this would look on an everyday basis type of thing. Let me put the light a little lower. And you see it is reflecting, like you can see that it is shimmery. And I don't know how this would look like on an everyday basis. I don't think, I don't think I would wear it for that. Just because it looks to me like a very light, shimmery highlighter that you would normally apply on this area. It says that it is a loose setting powder. So you can set your face, you can set your under eye area. So you should be able to use it for all of that. So over here, it does look like super glowy. You see all my under eye area, it looks like it's still like dewy, like if I just have concealer and no setting powder. You see how it just glows? And then on this side, that doesn't happen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the matte setting powder on one side of my face. Well, on this side of my face where I have it matte. So now I'm gonna try the glowy side on this side. Hopefully I don't look too glowy. But to show you the difference between two sides, I really wanna show you on a bigger area, not just like the under eye area. So I'm gonna try it. Yeah, it definitely makes my whole face look very shimmery. Now, again, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look, ooh, that's too much. You gotta be very, very careful on the amount that you put. It doesn't look bad, it just doesn't look natural like it doesn't not natural as in you have no makeup it just doesn't look like a like a powder you know so here's what i think i think that it is exactly what it says that it is i just wasn't expecting for it to be as much i thought it was going to be more of a powder that someone with dry skin can actually wear and it look a little bit not dry or not matte I don't know exactly what I was expecting but I wasn't expecting for it to be this glowy now I think it would be good for someone who maybe does videos or if you're gonna take pictures maybe even like for your wedding so you can look like super extra glowy and I think that that's like a special occasion it's I want to look I don't know different than what I do every day maybe a 15 or a wedding or something like that but honestly for every day I would say I would not recommend this product like the more that I look at it it does look nice and it looks glowy but I could just imagine going outside being in the heat for a little while especially here in Houston being outside and looking like shiny because it's kind of hot and humid getting a little sweaty and then looking super glowy on my face like i don't see this as an everyday type of product i don't see it as a setting powder this is 38 dollars of course plus tax making it like 40 something you know so i honestly don't feel like that's worth it now if you want it for your makeup kit maybe if you do makeup on people and they are asking you for a very glowy look then i think this powder would be good for that maybe if i was going ah let's take a with and without i'm gonna take a picture with the flash so that way i can see the way that it looks because i was fixing to say i would probably wear this to maybe like a special event like maybe a wedding or a party or something like that i feel like 
the best way for me to compare this is to tell you that it looks like if you were to apply glow drops so like a glowy primer and you apply it all over your face before your foundation that's what this looks like okay so I actually have two this is what I'm talking about this is a primer and it's a glowy primer and so is this one this one is by Curva Girl. so let me go ahead and swatch this let me wait until it dries but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one this one you can see it right away that it's very shimmery I feel like it looks very similar to this if you can see the how glowy this is that's how my makeup looks on this side except in a powder form and I feel like that's the best way for me to compare it now what I do think is that it might look good and I'm actually gonna try it like that it might look good as a body shimmer like one of those shimmers that you can even use on your legs and stuff yeah yeah this looks more like a pretty body shimmer I mean that doesn't look bad it makes you look very bronzy and glowy for summer so that's not bad and it actually looks a little bit more natural than an actual highlighter that you can apply like on the on the shoulders or on the collarbones and stuff so this one actually looks nice on the body and i don't know i wouldn't apply it on my legs but i'm just saying that you can there's different ways of making you look glowy which i think with shimmery bronzers shimmery blushes even the highlighters that you can apply like i applied the Too Faced bronzer on this side as well as the peach blush and it still makes my face look shimmery and glowy but not as much as i look over here because i applied the same products over here and i just feel like extra glow is happening now if i were to just apply it on the under eye area this would look glowy and everything else would look matte which i think would look a little weird so i don't see it working honestly unless i apply it everywhere but it could unless you just apply it on this area but if you are i don't think it's worth buying this product for 40 dollars just to apply it on this area i just don't think this product is worth it for that now is it setting my makeup yes and is it lightweight it is but i just don't recommend it in a way as in you can wear it every day you can wear it for work and school i just feel like it's too much it's very very glowy if it was less glowy maybe but it's not it's like one of these without setting it so that is pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see y'all in my next one bye